So I'm going to show you how to work in the style of the artist Stephanie Jung. So first of all, I'll need to open up my image of where it is onto my Photoshop. Stephanie Jung creates multiple exposure edits. So by doing so, it's uh, the same image over and over again. It's just off centered. And then we change uh, the, the transparency of it. So by doing so, I'm gonna unlock my layer first of all. So double click the background layer. So now I'm able to edit that. And then I'm gonna click and bring it down to multiply this layer around four or five layers. So let's try the fifth. So what we need to start to do now up at the top is we need to change the opacity of this layer. So we're starting to see the other layers bringing through. So you've got the sliding scale at the top there. It's on 100% at the moment. So we need to bring it down to around about, probably around about 40, 50%. And then I'm using my move tool just to move it slightly to the side. So already we're kind of seeing this sort of like blurred out of focus um, edit. So we need to do the same with our another layer. So bringing it down to around about 58, 40%. Using the move tool, I'm going to move it then off centered again. So I repeat this process for every single one so it's the same. So I'm bringing it down. I might even move it further down this time so rather than it being just off centered to the left. And then I create it with my next layer And then the layer again. So I'm going to do another layer this time. So my layer again, I'm going to move down and then I'm going to create it off centered. So now what I'm going to start to do up at the top I'm going to start to change some of the lightings on them. So if you look at Stephanie Jung's, she has them quite, quite old and maybe overexposed looking. So you don't want something too dark. You want it to be quite um, antique looking. So something that you would use is probably the screen one is quite good. I'd then maybe go to another one. So two or three layers. I'd start just to maybe change the color, uh, the um the lightness on some of them. So again, from here, as you can see at the bottom, you've still got the background layer. You can see some of it. So we need to crop it down. So we're going to go to our second uh, icon down. So we're going to go to the rectangle market marquee to them and then I'm going to select the area which I want to be um, on my edit and I'm going to delete the rest so by doing so I'm going to go to image and crop so now I have got select and deselect so you're running ants now I've got an edit working in the style of Stephanie Jung again if you want to play around with some of them you can move some of them over you can offset some of them again so you want to make it even more blurred uh, and out of focus.